All right, so this is kind of, this is right up Roxanne's alley. Ooh, this is, <laughs> somebody sent me a post that says that legend has it that if you forget something when you're leaving the house and go to retrieve it, mm-hmm. you should stay put for a few minutes. Do you know why? Let me say this again. Legend has it that if you forget something when you <gasps> leave your house okay. and go back to retrieve it, okay. you should stay at the house for a couple of extra minutes. I have never heard this, Okay, but let me guess where it's going. Okay. And I'm making it relatable for myself. I'm not a big forgetter of stuff, mm-hmm. but I am a, did I turn the curling iron off? kind of person run back in the house maybe you're supposed to stay put to run back in the house if you feel forgetful because maybe something not good is going to happen if you leave at that exact moment you know you're and you need to stay there and that's your destiny to stay stay a moment longer you know what you're really kind of barking up the right tree okay so as a guess some people believe that it's your guardian angel Mm. intervening to delay and protect you from potential harm Wow. Now, do I believe in that? I don't. <laughs> but, but <laughs> That's okay. We, that's, that's what it's called, a belief. You believe what you want. You know, we ought to grab some calls on this. After the break. Okay. After the, We ought to grab some calls on this about... Oh, are you kidding me? You, you, were, you were delayed on something. Was, and, you yes. know, what, what I think of is that you leave the house, you're... Pulling out of your driveway, you're going just down your street, you're in the neighborhood, oh, son of a, uh, I, I just forgot uh, something, you go back to the house, and did that prevent you from getting hit head on by a tractor trailer uh, yes. on I-75 that crossed the median and, you know, and came into the other direction, you know, that that's the kind of thing. It's that I was supposed to be on that flight yeah. kind of situation. Hey. All right, I'll tell you what. Uh, let's re-explore this in just a moment. Right after the break, let's see if we can get, grab some calls. If you think that that's happened to you, that something delayed you, you had to go back to get something, and did something then happen that could have happened to you, but you were delayed? All right, l- let's try to grab some phone calls on this on the other side of the break. If you were listening just before the break, I would mentioned this... Somebody sent this to me, uh, and this showed up in one of my direct messages. It was a little video reel on IG, and someone sent this to me yesterday. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to talk about this. And if you're with us before the break, you heard me kind of lay this out, and I said, you know what? Let's take some phone calls or try to get some calls after the break. And what someone sent me was, legend has it that if you forget something when leaving the house and then return to retrieve it, you should stay put for a few minutes. It's believed that your guardian angel is intervening to delay and protect you from potential harm. So my question, has that ever happened to you? Have you ever been delayed by something? Or, you know, it goes to the old uh, story about somebody was running late, missed the plane, and then the plane crashed. And, you know, that truly happened to somebody I knew. Oh, I bet. I bet, yeah. Oh, I mean, you bet? Well, that's because... very common. You bet it. You, you, what are you saying? Are you? you, you... No, I, I mean, I've heard those stories, too. I, I mean, it's, one of my family right. members was like, you know, the Potomac. Was it supposed to be on the flight to the, on the Potomac, the crash in the Potomac? Uh, Palm 90? Yeah. That, that was Air Florida. Yeah. Uh, call sign Palm 90. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You had a relative that was supposed to be on the Air Florida flight? Uh. It may have been. I, I might be exaggerating just a tick. I might be. You may, might be making it up completely. No, I just make it up. Total like a fabrication. No, 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 a total no. freaking it's, lie. They fly. They <laughs> flew that that flight okay. uh, regularly. Okay. And okay. something right. happened, and they weren't on that flight. So it's not that they missed it. All right. But. Here's what I want to do. If you have ever, you know, had anything similar where you got delayed, you got hung up by something, and then. You missed something horrific, and if you were just a few minutes later, a few minutes earlier, yeah, did, did something intervene? Do you have a story to tell? 
like uh, the Jardians lady. Do you have a story to tell? I have type 2 diabetes, but I manage it well. It's a little pill with a big story to tell. All right, maybe not like that. All right, 800-990-1047. 800-990-1047. Any little, like, guardian angel type story. 800-990-1047. So while we're getting calls screened and the phones are ringing here, like to like to hear your story. Uh, speaking of airplanes, uh, this did happen to somebody I know. I went to summer camp with a kid. This is back in the mid 1970s, uh, like 1975, 74, 75. And listen, I'm what was I eight years old? Okay, eight nine years old. And there was a kid that I went to summer camp. This is up in upstate New York. It was a camp called Camp Ranger in uh, up in Bethel, New York, where Woodstock yeah. was held, actually, uh, the original Woodstock in uh, summer 69. So that's where my summer camp was, a mile from the Woodstock site. So this kid lost his mother. And I can't remember how his mom had died, but he had no mother. His father missed an Eastern Airlines flight. He was late, yeah, he was missed the flight. Late. That That flight crashed. It was like 1973 or 74, if you want to do a Wikipedia search, just search for Eastern Airlines crash. I think it was a DC-9 in like 1973 or 74. And if the father had, he was on a business trip or something. If that father, I think it was flying back to New York maybe. I, I can't remember or it happened. Anyway, it was something business related. His father was supposed to be on the flight, missed the flight. If the father was on the flight, he'd probably be missing uh, not only the mother, missing the father as well. Oh, my gosh. Oh. All right, look That's at the tragic. phones. Uh, every, every line, every single line has uh, blown up here. Katie in Lakeland. Katie, hi, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi, MJ. So it happened in June where I had flight delays and missed my cruise ship to Alaska, and it turned out that almost everybody on the ship ended up with covid Oh, my God. Ooh, wow. 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 Yep. And then can you imagine if they also came down with neurovirus at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> that would be horrible. <laughs> yeah, be, that'd be terrible coming out of everywhere. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Katie, did you get a credit or did you lose out on your cruise? Oh, I lost out. So they. I didn't buy the insurance. Oh, buy the insurance. oh no. So you lost everything? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. All right, Katie. But I didn't get COVID. Yeah, there so. you go. Katie, <laughs> thanks for listening. Thanks for calling in. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, Adam's in Alabama. Adam, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Oh, well, what's up? Uh, uh, well, we was in the Great Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. I, uh, it's not really a joke, but I've always said that I, my guardian angel saved me with a 12-pack of beer. <laughs> we were riding with another... It was a, a man and his son on a motorcycle. We were on a motorcycle, and we were riding together. You know, we didn't really know each other. We had just kind of met, and we just kind of riding. And we were riding along, and all of a sudden, I remembered that I needed to get a 12-pack. So I pulled into the convenience store to grab the 12-pack. Well, we went ahead and fueled and, you know, did everything. It took us a little while. Well, when we get back out, we pull out of the convenience store, and the highway's backed up, like traffic's backed up. So we're like, okay. So we're on a motorcycle, so we can navigate a little bit. So we kind of got up to where the the accident scene was. Splitting some lanes, huh? Yes, of course. Um, So we we got up there, and the man and his son had been hit at the intersection just ahead of us. We would have been with them when that happened if I wouldn't have stopped and got that 12-pack. Oh, man. Uh, What was their condition? They airlifted them and never did find out what happened to them. Oh, wow. wow. And if you don't mind me asking, what brand of beer was it? Michelob Ultra. And no, I'm not a girl. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. A uh, good story, Adam. I yeah. hope I hope they survived. I hope they're okay. Adam, oh, thank you, buddy. Too. Thank you. Uh, thanks Appreciate for calling it. in. Appreciate you. Uh, Becky's in Wesley Chapel. Hey, Becky, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Good morning. So, yeah, um, I was probably about eight years old. And I was walking with my brother. I, it was um, my great uncle had just died. And we were walking to um, one of his friend's house um, to see them again. Um, a tree branch, like a very large tree branch, came down. And it came down, but then it went over 
and then back down. And it landed, like, right in front of us. And I swear to God, it was my uncle. We saw something fly away. And even just talking now, I mean, this was probably 20 years ago. It just still makes me, you know. Mm-hmm. I miss my great uncle so much, and I swear it was him looking out for me because he was always that person to just, like, look out and, you know, be one step ahead all the time. And I felt like he was there with me when that happened because, I mean, I was eight. I didn't know about, you know, the laws of physics or anything, but my mom was, like, just amazed at how it came up, down, over, and then in front of us instead of landing on us. There was no wind that day, nothing, but then we saw something, like, Vaguely white fly away right after that. Wow. wow. That's that's a that's story. Funny. Thank you, Becky. Thank you. And I can tell, I, I can hear your voice. Yeah. It's uh, still very emotional for you. Yeah, we we still talk about it. Uh, come on, Becky, man up. Would you play? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's it, Becky. I'm kidding. Pull it's it together, it's Becky. Fine. No, yeah. you're, you're a sweetheart. All right, Becky, thanks for calling in. Thank you. Uh, oh, we had Alabama call in. Now we got New York City. Tina, you're on the MJ Morning Show. W- which borough are you in? I live on Long Island. All right. Well, we're well, technically not New York City, but are are, are you where where in Long Island are you right now? I live in Wansaw, right by Jones Beach. Yeah. So uh, that is uh, Nassau County. Yeah. Nassau. Uh, yeah, I know Wantaw. I know the Wantaw Expressway very very well. All right, go ahead, yeah. Jeannie. I'm sorry, Tina. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, so this actually happened a number of years ago, and actually the anniversary is coming up. But um, I worked in New York City in Two World Trade on the 58th floor, and that morning I was running late, and I could have I had to drive to the Long Island Railroad um, parking lot to the, to the station lot, and I couldn't find the spot. And I was driving around and around, and I could have parked a couple blocks away. A couple, you know, they have a couple of different parking lots, but I was just, something told me, you know, just wait it out. We were in the middle of a merger, so we worked really late the night before, and the team I was working with, they were like, whenever you get in, you get in, don't worry about it. So that kind of told me, all right, I didn't have to worry about it, hurry up and getting in. And I had to see at least three trains go by, and then by the time I saw, I actually still couldn't find a parking spot and made my own spot, which I ended up getting a ticket for later that day. Finally made it on the train, and then by the time we got to um, Jamaica, which is a major hub, yep. um, they, they weren't, you know, by that time, I had learned of what happened. Um, back then, you know, we didn't have um, the technology that we have. So- well, did they shut off, did they shut off all the LIRR trains to Penn Station? They, yeah, they weren't letting any more go. I was on the, the, the first train to not go through to the city. They, oh, my they were God. It. And, and Jeannie, you're calling in on Tuesday, September 10th, and tomorrow is uh-huh. the 23rd anniversary of 9/11. Yeah. So I, you know, I I dealt with survivor's guilt for a very long time because I worked there for four years. So you were in you were in Tower Two. I, I worked in yeah. Um, I'm sorry. One I worked in One World Trade. Oh, you were, okay. But I was at my I was at um, I just my memory is. <laughs> It, it's it's still emotional. Um, well, did you know anybody that was uh, a victim of the towers collapsing? We we lost. Um, I worked for a law firm. We lost one coworker. Um, from what I've heard, um, she made it down, but nobody had seen her once she made it down oh. to like the lobby area. Yep. Um, but it it really gets me because I was I loved my job. I was at my desk. 8, 8.30 every morning. Oh, you would have been right there because the first plane hit at 8.46. I would have been there. Oh, geez. Wow, what a story. Uh, Tina, thank you. Uh, just out of curiosity, uh, you're listening to us up on Long Island. How did you come to listen to us? I, I actually spoke with you once before. Um, I do wildlife photography, so I make a yearly trip to Florida. And once, as we were driving out, um, just playing around on the radio, I like listening to, you know, the morning talk. Came across you guys and thought you were hysterical. And ever since then, and this is going back three years ago, um, I listen to you guys on TuneIn Radio every every morning. Well, thank you. Uh, You've got great taste in radio, and obviously you know we're much better than... The Z Morning Zoo on Z100. All right. 
So thank, thank you. You, th- you guys make my morning every day. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Look at that. Thanks. Yeah. yeah much better than. All right, let me grab one more Jeannie in Tampa. Jeannie, hi, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Good morning. Morning. Um, Hi. um, Yes, this didn't happen to me, but it was my supervisor in the early 2000s. Um, She has lived in Tampa her whole life, and she's one of these people who believes you're either 15 minutes early or you're late. Late. If you're on time, you're late. Yep. And yeah, the, also- my my daughter learned that. Uh, I think it was Coach Wade at uh, Strictly Soccer. That was his deal. Uh, it, uh, on time is late. Yes. So she was always on time. Yep. So usually early. So this particular morning, she was on her way to work. <clears throat> Excuse me. And either she worked in Tampa or um, uh, lived in St. Pete or vice versa. I can't remember now. But anyhow. Uh, this particular morning, anything that could possibly go wrong went wrong. The dog ran off the leash. She had to locate her dog. Mm. The, um, she forgot to turn her curl and iron off. The car didn't want to start, whatever. So she's really upset, and she's running about 15 to 30 minutes late. On her way to work, she's listening to the radio. She would have been on the Skyway in the middle of the bridge when it got hit. Oh, mm. wow. Yep. Wow, the, so the, original, her- the original Skyway collapse. What was that, 1980? Something like that. Um, it, she said it literally saved her life. And she wasn't a religious type person, but she did say she felt like that day her guardian angel was looking over her. And if she started to run late somewhere, she said instead of getting frustrated, she always remembered that day. And it, she just let, you know, whatever happened, happen. That is insane. That gives you chills. Yeah, it was May yeah. 9th, 1980 was the Skyway collapse. Yeah. And, of course, that's why we have the new structure now. Uh, hey, thanks for checking in, Jeannie. Have a good one. You too. Have a great day. Man, that, that turned into a segment it late really show. Did. Look at yes. that. Phones just blew up. Did you like the video? Want more? Go ahead and click all this like, share, subscribe.